Mathematics Form 3 Statistics 2 Pie Charts Statistics is one of the important segments in science and mathematics. Data and information can be presented and understood easily by statistics. Statistics too can be used to determine the existing polars in certain data. We usually come across pictograms, line graphs, bar charts, and pie charts. In newspapers and companies' annual reports, data represented by these charts make it easy for us to collect certain information and allow us to trace any existing polars. These information and polars allow us to make decisions. In Form 2, you had learned how to use pictograms, bar charts, and line graphs to represent data in attractive and systematic ways so that information can be easily understood. In this lesson, you will learn another type of data representation known as the pie chart. A pie chart makes use of sectors of a circle to represent data. A pie chart is a graphic representation of data using sectors of a circle. The size of each sector shows the percentage of the overall data it represents. Pie charts are normally used to represent various data. So, we need to know how to get information from the charts. For example, the pie chart shows how Encik Sulaiman allocates his monthly salary for his expenditure. The sector with the largest angle represents house expenditure, that is 40%. So, house expenditure is the item with the most allocation. He also spends 16% on car installment, 14% on house installment, 10% on bills. Encik Sulaiman saves 20% of his salary in the bank. In pie chart, data is represented by the sectors of a circle. The size or angle of the sector depends on the quantity of data it represents. Thus, to construct a pie chart, we must calculate the angle of each sector corresponding to the quantity of each category of data. The angle of each sector can be obtained by A. Angle of sector equals to quantity of each category of data divided by quantity of the overall data times 360 degrees or b angle of sector equals to percentage of each category of data times 360 degrees in a survey on the favorite games of 240 students the result obtained are shown in the data game number of students football 90 Hockey, 32. Tennis, 46. And badminton, 72 students. A. Based on the data, calculate the angle of the sector which represents each game in a pie chart. B. 
Construct the pie chart. Solution A. Total number of students equals to 240. Football 90 divided by 240 times 360 degrees equals to 135 degrees. Hockey 32 divided by 240 times 360 degrees equals to 48 degrees. Tennis 46 divided by 240 times 360 degrees equals to 69 degrees. Badminton 72 divided by 240 times 360 degrees equals to 108 degrees. B. To construct the pie chart. Step 1. Use a pair of compasses to construct a circle with any suitable radius. Use a protector to measure the angle of each sector. Then, draw the sectors. Step 3. Label each sector according to the game it represents and mark the angle of the sectors. Step 4. Write the title of the pie chart. Problem involving pie chart include finding the value of angle of sector, data quantity and information statement in the form of fraction or percentages. Example 2. The pie chart shows the favorite dreams of a group of Form 2 students. Soya bean, 135 degrees. Orange juice, X, T, 75 degrees and milk x plus 90 degrees solution step 1 understanding the problem given number of students who like tea are 10 angle of sector representing soya bean is 135 degrees angle of sector representing orange juice is X. Angle of sector representing T is 75 degrees. Angle of sector representing milk is X plus 90 degrees. If the number of students who like T are 10, find A. The value of X. B. The number of students who like milk. C. The ratio of students who like milk to the total number of students in the class. Step 2. Devising a strategy. A. Use the total sum of angles in the center of the circle 360 degrees. B. 10 students represent 75 degrees of the total sum of the angles. Step 3. Carrying out the strategy. A. Total number of a circle equals to 360 degrees 135 degrees plus X plus 90 degrees plus 75 degrees plus X equals to 360 degrees 2X equals to 360 degrees minus 300 degrees X equals to 60 degrees divided by 2 x equals to 30 degrees the value for x is 30 degrees b given angle 75 degrees represents 10 students 30 degrees plus 90 degrees represent 120 divided by 75 times 10 students equals to 16 students C. Total number of students, 
360 degrees divided by 75 degrees times 10 equals to 48. The ratio of students who like to drink milk, total number of students equals to 16 is to 48 equals to 1 is to 3. Step 4. Checking the answer. A. Total equals to 75 degrees plus 135 degrees plus x plus x plus 90 degrees equals to 300 degrees plus 2 times 30 degrees equals to 360 degrees. B. Angle representing students who like milk equals to number of students who like milk divided by total number of students times 360 degrees equals to 16 divided by 48 times 360 degrees equals to 120 degrees. C. Ratio of students who like to drink milk to the total number of students equals to 120 degrees is to 360 degrees equals to 1 is to 3. You have learned that pictograms, line graphs, bar charts, and pie charts are used to represent data. What is the difference between the four methods to represent data? The choice of graphic representation depends very much on the type of data and the objectives of representing the data. Let's study the following table to get some guidelines on how to choose a suitable representation for a set of data. Pictogram Suitability for data which can be easily represented by symbols or pictures. Example, number of cars, people, or objects. Bar chart, suitability, for any data which can be easily represented by bars according to scales. Example, amounts of rainfall, expenditure or mess, the number of cars, people, or objects. Line graph suitability for data collected over a period of time. Example, rainfall, temperature, or price recorded over a period of time. Pie chart suitability for data which can be grouped into categories. Example, students' grades, hobbies, or classes. Example 3. Month. Number of cars sold. January. 1,000 cars. February. 1,500 cars. March. 1,200 cars. And April. 1,800 cars. The table shows the number of national cars sold in a certain period of time. State the suitable method to represent the data. The number of cars sold can be represented by picture. So, the most suitable representation is pictogram. That's all for today. See you in the next lesson. Goodbye.